Hey guys and welcome to my room. I s o l podcast episode one. Well, uh, today this gonna be my first talk. I decided this uh, for so many reason and consideration, and finally I came to the idea I want to record my voice. Well, do not wait. Let me jump to the mainly. This is um, actually a story and about accepting people in our life. So this day, I want to, um, you know, talking about accepting that person who are I heard or told. In my life, it was my dad. So this is story. It's gonna be uh, my story about accepting my dad. Back from the story. Uh, well, I'm not gonna be so serious on this talk. Uh, you can enjoy too while listening this one while doing anything or whatever. It's fine, or better, you use headphone to close your eyes to listen this one. Um, I was born t- in 2004 at a um, big family. I mean, like in our small family, there are big member of my sibling. We are four siblings, and then. Um, I have daddy, and then my dad is such a big, big lesson for myself at this time. But in the past, I thinking it was a problem for myself. I don't want to blame myself for that one, though, because you know. Uh, Life is still running and up and down. It's like a roller coaster, and I don't know. And that's good that I'm at that point. I realized I have problem. Maybe you asking me what is the problem, or what your dad did to yourself. Um. <laughs> um. My dad is uh, not. Doing like a uh, you know, not doing like what normally daddy in supporting and financial or something basically with ourselves, and that's fine. We can't to force others to doing whatever we want. Including to um, some figure of our family or person in the part of our life, we can't force them to fulfill their obligation to us. And then I <laughs> that's that's make me at the time before I was so you know frustrated and confused about what's going on or. Is that really for myself? And then, uh, my mom is she's a really strong woman, and she helps us, our siblings, to still alive and support our um, needed basic and education. And um, yeah, life must go on, right? Before, I I think that this word isn't fair for myself. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that. My past, I thinking like that. I was thinking that this word isn't fair. That I I got this part sadness or 
worrying and bad and other side of people uh, can feel joy and get someone's uh, love them uh, I, I was thinking something like that and then I I every day feel so bad about myself um this happens like 16 years something like that and right now I'm 18 then gonna be turned be 19 some less some months later and then um, in some last year that I start to realize something I can't to always be like this I cannot to always mad with my dad I met someone she said uh, let them go be whatever whoever they want to be what the most important is to make yourself happy and then and also I want to say that I've never learned about forgiving people before and I've never learned to understand other people before and then now I start I'm in a process that uh, I accept I learn to forgive people especially my daddy and now on I feel better and I don't feel um, that make hard my life I'm, I'm happy to have this part I mean like I'm happy to God give me a lesson like this I don't want to blame or I don't want to uh, man this time again again make it over and over again and feel uh, hurt by uh, the condition um, I start to forgive my daddy and I started doing meditation to accept my feeling maybe uh, this is my part of life to accept enough is enough that maybe my life this is good for me right I can't wish or hoping that I have life like others and that is so weird to hide from our reality so in and from the story that I hope you all learn that just mad not accepting someone that make you hard just hurts yourself I know this is maybe not easy for you to forgive that people that abuse you the thing that you can do to heal yourself is forgive them and if you can you can move out you know the first one that you need is move on moving out your heart your mind that like what I do I'm moving out my mind my heart to be in a different place that I feel peace and I feel okay that the way do I I get that one baby I just forgiving them right I don't I don't I don't mean you forgive it's mean like people can do whatever they want to you no that's not I mean like in our heart we not feel hard that again and then uh, this is my first story and then I b before I'm mean, like f back to two years ago I feel mad every time I saw my dad back home from many places but now on every feeling that I feel uncomfortable maybe you have this feeling you see someone try to I try to realize that oh I, I have this feeling and I take some moment to breathe and I believe with God and with myself 
I believe I can letting go this feeling. And really thank you to this lesson come up to my life. Not all of people can fulfill what we want. Not all of things in our life came as us like what we want. This life is accepting something and everything. This present. Maybe accepting everything is told for you. But believe me, everything will get better if you involve the gods and be patient about what will happen next. And I believe, really believe, there is a change to you, opportunity to you, and you know, okay, um, I'm not, I'm, maybe I don't know you, who you are, I've never met you, but when you meet, when you saw, when you listen this voice, it means this listen comes up to yourself, and I really love you, God really love you, and we all can. Do not worry about your life. Be fighting and goodbye. Thank you. I hope you can listen to this broadcast again in next day. See you next time. Bye bye.